Hey guys, here we have the 2018 Clipper 21RD by Coachman. Uh, we'll start up front. Uh, so up here you have your tongue jack, and it has this power cord. Uh, you plug it into your truck, uh, and then uh, you'll have power. Uh, turn this on. Uh, you got up and down. Uh, then you got a light when you're hooking up. Uh, you got your chains, your seven-way. Uh, and breakaway cable right here. Uh, so if this ever came off the ball, uh, that would pull out and lock up your brakes. It's like an emergency brake. Uh, and then you have your propane tanks. You have access to them up here. Uh, you have two 20 pound tanks. Um, well, there is a bungee underneath that holds it on. Then you can pull this off. get the tanks filled uh, let's open the valves and then your regulator right here is an auto changeover regulator uh, so you can have both tanks on and then this uh, is pointing to the service tank which is the tank that's in use uh, once this tank goes empty the valve inside will automatically change over to uh, this tank um, and then you can take this one off go get it filled before you take this off, uh, just switch this lever over and that'll shut this pigtail off. That way the gas isn't coming out of this pigtail. There is also a little window right here. Uh, right now it's clear. That means there's gas going through. Once it turns red, that means it's empty. Uh, you got your 12 volt battery up here. And just put the cover back on. And then put the bungee back on. And there's little tabs under here that it just slides in and holds it on. All right. Uh, then right here you have a little window so you can pop this open. There's just a protection for the window when traveling. Uh, then you can tighten these down and it'll hold it open so you have like a little uh, awning over the window uh, and just make sure it's locked back down for travel uh, you got your storage compartment here uh, water pumps right there and it is it does have a pump kit on it for winterizing uh, so you just got this hose right here with the valve uh, you'll turn that, and then you can stick this right in the jug of antifreeze. Uh, then you have your water hookups here. You have your city water connection. Uh, when you go to campgrounds, you will hook your hose directly there with a pressure regulator. Uh, then you have your fresh water fill, and that's just gravity filled. Uh, and the drain for that's right there. It's just a little cap that goes on there. Uh, you got stabilizer jacks, there's one on each corner. Uh, then here you have your uh, sewer outlet. On the left's your black tank, which is your toilet water. Uh, and then on the right's your gray tank, which is your sink and shower. Uh, leave them closed uh, while using it. Uh, there's a monitor panel inside. Once it reads about two thirds to full, that's when you come out and dump them. Pull the black tank valve first, let that empty out, then close it, and then open the gray tank, and that'll flush out your sewer hose for you, so it's not leaving a mess in there. Uh, outside shower, hot and cold. Then you have your cable hookups right here, and your power cord. Uh, it's a 30 amp unit. Uh, spare tire in the back. Uh, then you have your water heater right here. Uh, this is gas only, and the switch for that is inside. Uh, it's electric ignition, so you don't have to come out here and light any pilot. Uh, the exhaust for the furnace, just make sure nothing's blocking it. Uh, and don't touch it, because uh, it gets pretty hot, and it does blow hot air out. Uh, then you have, uh, this is the vent for the stovetop range. Uh, so 
when you want to use the vent just pop that open and then if you're not using it or traveling uh, just make sure you snap it back in that way no bugs or water get up inside there outside outlet and you got the other side of your storage compartment uh, and this came with a whole uh, hitch set up uh, weight distribution uh, and then you got an adapter here to go down to a regular uh, 15 amp outlet Then this is prepped for solar charging, so you can plug in a solar panel there uh, to keep your battery maintained. Now I'll go inside. Uh, to open up your steps, you just lift here and kind of pull up, and then pull it out, and then this will just fold down. Uh, you grab handle here uh, to open and close it. You lift up and turn it. Uh, that's travel position, and you can turn it either way, and then open it up like that for use and we'll go inside uh to the left you have your fire extinguisher uh then up here is your control center so you have your switches for your lights uh you have your water pump switch if you're using your fresh water tank uh then you have your switch for your water heater uh, you flip that on this light will come on once it lights, that light will go out. Uh, the water heater will try to light three times. If it doesn't light after the third time, this light will stay on. And what this is, is your fault light, indicating that the water heater didn't light. Um, and then you have your awning switch here. So you have extend and retract. Okay. Uh, so we'll extend it. And with the awnings, they don't stop on their own, so you do have to watch it while rolling it out. There will be a valance that will fold down, and you'll also be able to see the bare tube, and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Um, but once it gets there, you just want to let off the switch. Alright. So it's a little wet, so it's not going to fold down, but once it dries, it will. Uh, it's right about there. Uh, you just let off the switch, and then on each arm, you can pull down here, and it'll put a pitch on the awning. Uh, so if it's sprinkling out, uh, the water can run off. Um, but if it gets really windy or starts downpouring, just roll your awning up. That way, no damage is caused. Uh, and then before you roll it back in, just make sure these are straight. Uh, so that's what it should look like. Um, again, just let off the switch once it gets there. If you keep holding it, it will roll it backwards, so you just want to be careful of that. Uh, and then you just got a couple USB ports there. Uh, right here is your thermostat for your furnace, and you only got one lever. Uh, you just turn it right there and set it to what temperature you want. Uh, if you're not using it, uh, make sure it's clicked all the way to the left. That way it's completely off because uh, this only goes down to 50 degrees. So if it gets below 50 or wherever it's left at, um, it will try and keep lighting itself, especially in the winter time. Um, if you don't shut it off, it will try and light. Uh, then you got your bed area right here with some storage on each side. And then you have a light up there. You do have a cover for storing it. And then your bed also lifts up and you have some storage under here. Oh, and it does come with a solar panel, so you guys are already set with the solar charging. And that, all you'll have to do is just plug into that little port I showed you earlier. Uh, closet hanging space here. Uh, TV hookups there. Uh, you got your sink here, and then some storage underneath, and some storage up above, a lot of storage. Uh, a light here, and then it looks like they added in a couple lights on each end. Uh, you got your three burner uh, cooktop here, 
And then you got your stovetop light and fan, household microwave. Uh, and then up above, this is your air conditioner. Uh, so if you look on this end, uh, this is your temperature control. So this is going to be uh, the coldest. And then you can change it to warm or in the middle somewhere. Uh, then right here is your mode control so you have your fan speed so you have low fan then high fan and then low cool and then high cool uh so that's pretty simple uh then you have couch and dinette seating back here uh this is a jackknife sofa so if you lift up on it that'll fold down into a bed and then the table uh, has folding legs so you can fold the legs up and then uh, you can rest the table right on here on each end and then put the cushions on top and then you got another bed back here and then put this up you just lift up on here and then you grab the top and kind of put it back into position uh, you have your fridge right here uh, you got your on off button and then this button right here is controlling what mode it's on. Uh, so with it pushed in, uh, it's on auto. That's looking for electricity first. Uh, if you lose power overnight or if you're just not plugged in, it will light on gas. Um, it'll try and light on gas. If your propane tanks aren't on, then it won't light, obviously. Uh, so make sure your tanks are on. Uh, and then if you only want it running on gas, even though you are plugged in, you can push that button out and it will light on gas. Uh, to open it, you just push right here and pull open. And then you got your freezer. A uh, bunch of storage again. Uh, and there is storage under the dinette uh, cushions. Then you have your radio here. Um, I believe it's also Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone to it and play your music. Uh, you have another TV hookup right there. Um, last thing is the bathroom. Uh, so you have your toilet right here with a little foot flush. Uh, light switch here. Uh, you got your sink, a bunch of counter space in the bathroom. And again, a bunch of storage. Uh, this unit does have a lot of storage, which is nice. Uh, and then you have double medicine cabinet. Uh, and then you have your vent with a fan in it. Uh, so you have your knob right here to crank open the lid. And then you just have your switch to turn on the fan. And this does have a black lid on it. Uh, so it does keep uh, the sun and heat out, which is nice. And then you have your shower right here. Uh, just regular hot, cold water. Uh, and then you got a little skylight to let in some natural light in the shower area. Alright. Uh, so that has everything to do with the 2018 Clipper 21RD. I hope you guys like it, and thanks for shopping at Mackelson RV.